Take back his Mar-a-Lago at 18 million. 18 million. And you can't do that. It's worth probably 50 to 100 times more than that. And our corrupt attorney general, she's totally corrupt. She just wanted the publicity to run for governor. And then she failed running for governor. She got no, she got practically nothing in terms of vote. But she went after Trump because she was running for governor. That's the only reason. But she got the judge to value Mar-a-Lago for $18 million. When the smallest house in Palm Beach is probably worth $50 million. And this is the biggest, the best anywhere in the country. There's nothing like it. So they put it down at 18 million, and they said, I, I overvalued it because we had it valued at a much lower number than it's worth. And by the way, my financial documents are valued much less than my actual value, which nobody even knows. But the financial documents that I gave to the bank are much less than my actual net worth. So therefore, I gave them to the bank. They can't be a fraud because I gave them lower numbers. I'm probably one of the only people ever to seek a loan. I didn't even need the loan because you see the kind of cash I have. I didn't even need loans. Maybe you don't do a deal or two. But we have a lot of cash, a lot of everything. You know, a lot of people are very surprised at how successful this is. You saw it today with the kind of cash I have and the kind of success we've had. But I'm a private company. I was never going to reveal this kind of stuff. But now it comes out. It comes out because a corrupt attorney general sued me for fraud. And then they found out they had no case. And they have no case. And today, if you read the New York Law Journal, they basically say they have no case against Trump. But I'm here, stuck here, and I can't campaign. I'd rather be right now in Iowa. I'd rather be in New Hampshire or South Carolina or Ohio, or a lot of other places, but I'm stuck here because I have a corrupt attorney general that communicates with the DOJ in Washington to keep me nice and busy because I'm leading Biden in the polls by a lot. Mr. That's Trump, all this is. This is election here. interference. They made up a fake case. They're fraudulent people. And the judge already knows what he's going to do. He's a Democrat judge. In all fairness to him, he has no choice. He has no choice. He's run by the Democrats. I know this city better than anybody knows this city. There's nobody knows it like I do. He's a Democrat judge out of the clubhouses. He's controlled, and it's a shame. What's going on here is a shame. Our whole system is corrupt. This is corrupt. Atlanta is corrupt. And what's coming out of D.C. is corrupt. But this Brandon, is a good one because this one is interesting. This one is very interesting. Why attend? Because I want to point it out to the press how corrupt it is, because nobody else seems to be able to do it. Mr. President, New York Law Journal, New York Law Journal today did a very good job. And others have done a good job. They say there's no case here, but we have a corrupt attorney general 